Hey guys, it's Courtney, and today I'm gonna um, film my November favorites for you guys because we have about what two days left in November, so I figured might as well film that so I'm not as late as I was with my October favorites. So I have a few beauty products, a few um, clothing, and a couple other random things. So I'm gonna start with my beauty products right now. Um, my first um, beauty product is um, Bedhead After Party, and what this is, it's um. For when you're gonna flat iron your hair, it just makes it super smooth and shiny. You put it in while your hair is damp, like after you get out the shower before you blow dry it, and you squeeze this a little bit, like maybe a little more than a dime size. Rub it throughout your hair, and just when you're flat ironing, it just makes it super like silky and shiny. I'm just really loving this, and I'm glad I found it. So you see, use a chew oil, and I leave my hair looking kind of greasy, but this just leaves it really um, movable and just silky like I like it so I really recommend this it's called bedhead after party I got this at Target my other beauty product November favorite beauty product is this um, brow kit by Milani and you can get this at Target this is probably my favorite um, eyebrow kit that I've found I've been trying out a lot of eyebrow kits throughout the month of October November this is probably my favorite so far I've heard about um, Benefit, everyone says a lot of good things, things about Benefit, so I really want to try that eyebrow kit next. Next time I go to Sephora, I might pick it up. But this one right now will do. It's only $6.98 at Target, and it works really good. I'm really happy with it. So that's Milani eyebrow kit. My next um, November favorite beauty product is this mint mask. This mask only costs $5 from Sally's, and it works amazing. This is what it looks like inside. It's a green mask, and you put it on if you have any blemishes, little acne. You put it on at night. You don't need a lot. You don't need to kick it on, and it just really clears up your skin. I used to use a fifty-dollar mask by Murad. I used to buy that at Sephora, and it worked really well. But this is five dollars, and it works just as well as a fifty-dollar mask. So I really recommend this. It's called the Mint Mask. You can get this at Sally's Beauty Supply, and it works amazing. I highly, highly recommend this if you get little blemishes and whatnot. It clears you right up. Um, my last beauty product is um, this e.l.f. brush kit. Got this at Target as well, and it was only $10, and you get all of these brushes. It's such a good deal. And the brushes are pretty decent quality. You know, it works. Um, and $10, you get all the types of brushes you need for makeup. I really recommend this. It's a really great idea for a Christmas present, and you can get this at Target. Like, Target right now has a whole bunch of really cute, like, gift sets for Christmas, but... I picked this up and I really, really love it. All the brushes work really great. So, Elf brush collection set. You can get that at Target. Um, see, my other like random bits is um, the Style.com magazine I picked up. Oh my gosh, you guys, this magazine is super inspirational. It doesn't have a bunch of couture. I love magazines that have a bunch of street style in it because you can get more inspiration for your own personal outfits and your own personal style. And it just has so many awesome photos in it. Like, I look at, through this magazine at least once a week, and it just inspires me every time I look at it. It just has such cute photos in it. I really, really, really love it. It's a good magazine when it just cost $15, but it's to totally worth it, because every page just gives you an idea, like, oh, that's cool, I can, like, you know what I mean? So, it's called Style.com. i never seen... I visit style.com all the time, but I never knew that they had a magazine, so I hope that my Barnes & Nobles continues to carry this, because this magazine is everything. It has such great photos and ideas in it. Then another magazine I was loving in November was this Company Street Style magazine. Company Magazine is a UK-based magazine, which I cannot find anywhere here in the US. And I, so when I saw this Company uh, Street Style, it's like a little like, accessory magazine. I flipped out. I was like, oh my god, really? And this magazine has such great outfit ideas in it. Like, look at all look at all the pictures of all the shoes. Like, it just has such good shit in here. Like, it's amazing. So many great outfit ideas. I've already spotted some of my, a few of my favorite bloggers in here, read some of their articles. It's just a really great magazine. I really wish I could get my hands on it company magazine but this is the closest I can get to it so I was really happy and this is filled with inspiration and this was seven dollars which is really good and it's just filled with so many ideas so if you can head to your local Barnes Nobles or uh, 
borders and pick this up, I highly recommend that you guys will just be filled with such like inspiration from this. Um, let's see, for accessories, my favorite accessories for November would be these Karen Walker Sunnies. I've had these since like last June and I've won them quite a few times, but in November, like I have quite a nice collection of glasses, but um, in the month of November, these seem to be the ones I've been reaching for the most. So the Karen Walker number one glasses, and I just love the way they look. They're just really, really cute, and I've just been wearing these pretty much all month, and I love them. I got these from RevolveClothing.com about seven months ago, and they're totally worth the money. I think they're about, they're about $199, but they're amazing. I love the look of them. They just photograph well. They look good in person. They're just a great um, sunny pair of sunnies to have. My other uh, favorite accessory for the month of November would be, you guys have seen me wear this in a few blog posts. It's this um, Forever 21 bag. I got it about a year ago, and um, I just stud it the back, just to add a little extra detailing to it. Um, so this is a really good bag. It's faux leather, and it's, just, it's a nice size. It carries all my stuff in there, and I really, really like it, so... I've been wearing this pretty much in a lot of my blog posts in the month of November. Love it. Um, moving on to like clothing. My favorite piece of clothing this month would probably be this American Apparel. I'm sorry, it's like really lint to you right now. It's my American Apparel corduroy circle skirt. I've been wearing this a lot. I've only, been, I've only have like one blog post in it, but I've been wearing it just like if I don't have an idea of what to wear, I just throw this on with a jumper, tights, and ankle boots, and I'm set. It's just a really good basic to have in your closet. It just looks super cute with just anything. Look, I can even put it on with this skirt, and it just looks really put together and nice. And it just and I love that it's black because I can literally pair it with everything. So I've been wearing this quite a bit, at least once a week. So this is definitely a November favorite. American Apparel Corduroy Circle Skirt. Um, my last favorite would have to be these Jeffrey Campbell ankle boots. Oh, almost fell. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? You guys have seen me in a few posts in these. And um, I've been having my eye on these for about a year and a half. They're like, supposed to be like dupe versions of the Chloe boot, you know? But this is just, it's such a beautiful ankle boot. And like, I usually go for platforms and heels. But this is a, such a gorgeous ankle boot, I couldn't pass it up. It has a tiny little heel in the back. They're super comfortable. They're gorgeous. They look great with jeans, dresses, maxi skirts, shorts. So I've been wearing these to death and will continue to do so. Um, I really, really just, these are probably my, one of my favorite shoes in, in my shoe collection, so. Jeffrey Campbell did it again. <laughs> I love them, so. That's the end of yeah. my November favorites. So I'll have a December favorites for you guys um, at the end of December. So yeah, I'll see you guys next post. Bye!